This fable was written long, long ago by a man named Esau. This story has a moral at the end. That means the story can teach us about right and wrong. We begin in a beautiful forest. I think I see the kind and humble tourist coming slowly down the road now. Just then, a fast-talking hare came rushing by. Oh, Mr. Tortoise, you move so slowly. Why, I could run circles around you. Well then, let us have a race, my friend, and we will see who is the fastest. A race? Why not? I'll show you who's, who is the fastest. I'll win the race. You can be sure of that. All of the woodland animals gathered to watch while the tortoise and the hare prepared themselves for the big race. your mark get set go and off they went while all of the woodland animals cheered them the tourist of course was walking very slowly, which gave the hare an idea. Ha ha! That tortoise is still back at the start line. He'll never be as fast as me. I think I'll just take a break by this tree. That slow old tortoise will still be far behind a fast runner like me. But while the hare was leaping, the tourist kept on going. <sighs> the woodland animals were so happy for the tortoise, so they were cheering him on. It was so loud that it woke the hare. Huh? What's all that noise? Oh no! I overslept! I won! I won! I can't believe you beat me. I just can't believe it. The beautiful hare had learned his lesson. Slow and steady wins 